Stop right there, y'all. They won't come to the show. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be here, y'all. Very nice to be here. Welcome to the indie show. Okay. Now tonight, Gilbert has me on a a, a mic and I hold it in my hand, okay. so I'm going to try to focus. Okay. Okay. Well, I am so glad that you accepted the invitation and you are on the show. I've never heard that song sung like that before. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Where does that fantastic voice come from? My mama. Your mama? My mother. My mother's side of the family uh, okay. is all very musical. Mm -hmm. So um, I started singing when I was eight mm -hmm. and I just kept going. Just kept going. You started just kept singing going. at the I'm age of eight? Yeah. Okay. I singing at the age of eight, and I just kept going. Okay. All Philadelphia Boys Choir, mm -hmm. the orchestra, the mm -hmm. band, mm -hmm. then a couple of the funk bands around town, mm -hmm. and then Rodney Mansfield. Rodney Mansfield. I didn't even introduce you to this audience. Hi, y'all. Rodney <laughs> this is Rodney, Rodney Mansfield. And he is a great, as you can hear, a great singer, vocalist. Thank you. Arranger, producer, songwriter, musician, Oh my God! Doris, keep the change. <laughs> you do it all. <laughs> keep the change, Doris. But just you, 20, do, but you, you, you do, keep it all. You all do it just all. You just do it all. <laughs> Thanks, Doris. Okay. Thank you. Now I want to just go over here for one second, go ahead. okay? And introduce to my left Gloria Butler. Which is like hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> now Gloria, oh, we don't. Okay, Gloria, you are now managing Rodney. Yes, I am. Okay. What brought that about? Well, um, he saw something in me that he approached me and said, um, I like the way you work, mm -hmm. I, and I'm looking for someone to manage. And he said, uh, I'd like for you to help manage my career. Great. And, Great. you know, I said, well, I'm always up for a challenge. Yes. And also, mm -hmm. after hearing yes. this very yes. talented yes. artist, yes. there was yes. no way that no. I could say That's no. Right. And, um, Thank God and for that. the more and the more I work with him, the more I hear him sing, I hear his music. He's such a perfectionist, also, mm -hmm. and and. Uh, I am also strive to be a perfectionist. He's very meticulous about his music. Um, and uh, I just said, let's do it. Well, let's do it. <laughs> That's great. What did you, is this your first time in managing someone? Oh, yes, yes. This is my first time um, managing um, a, a solo artist as such as Rodney and um, but as you can see he's a great he songwriter uh, singer yes. uh, producer mm -hmm. and over since COVID we've had a chance to really work together and um, that is where I was really introduced to his music um, and how he composes songs and and then he'll send me something. Look, listen to this. Listen. Uh, I haven't mastered it yet, but listen, tell me what you think. <laughs> and um, I would listen to it, and I, it sounds good to me. It sounds good. He said, oh, it's not done yet. So nope. I, <laughs> but it's almost done. It doesn't have to be done. It sounds so good. It you know, you can just me. stop in now, bro, right? <laughs> 
Well, Rodney, I am so happy for this, okay? okay. And you're here, uh, and you live here in Philadelphia. Right here in Northeast Homegrown. Philadelphia. Right here in Northeast Philadelphia. Okay. And, and you've performed various places with some of the greatest legends. Yeah. Well, how, how did you do that? I mean, um, did you have a CD out or a single out at that time? How were you chosen? I think you worked with Gladys Knight. I, I, was, I was signed with a uh, and record company, mm -hmm. and a and would send me out on promotional tours. Okay. So the more tours I went out on, uh, Lavert, Gladys mm -hmm. Knight, Brian McKnight, mm -hmm. I worked with a whole lot of, of, of great acts, mm -hmm. and that helped me to fine tune what I did also. Because okay. when, when, when you're on a stage, when you share a stage with people of that caliber, mm -hmm. you gotta bring it. Okay, now when you, when you, when you opened up, did you do um, cover songs, or did you get a chance to do any of your material? When I, at first, initially, I did a lot of cover songs. Okay. After I got my a &M album deal, then mm -hmm. I did my own song. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, out of all those people you've worked with, who um, who do you think was uh, more was beneficial in your career that you learned from to help you to get where you are today? Which one of those acts, or was it more than one? Something that <laughs> you told Go me. Go ahead. Still in my head. Now, who was that? Okay, who's that? All night long. Yes, yes, yes. You wanted me to love you when you said softly reach out and touch me. My love is in your hand. Mr. Peebo Bryce. Isn't that great? Did yeah. you get an opportunity to work with Peebo? Never worked with you him. You never got an opportunity? Met, met him once, but I never got to work with him. Well, you know, um, I was reading some of your bio, and you said at one point you were with a group, mm -hmm. and you were a trumpet player. Yeah. Tell us about that experience and what happened. Many years ago, I was singing with a group here in Philly called Sapphire. And those were doing the years of Breakwater, Sundown, you know, all the other groups around town. Mm -hmm. And our lead singer got sick one night. And uh, to keep from losing the contract of not getting paid, our manager mm -hmm. came to everybody in the group and said, whatever lines you know, sing. Whatever line you know, you sing. Whatever mm -hmm. line you know, you sing. Mm -hmm. So I knew a couple of lines and I sang them on one song, then we, another song, I do a couple of parts, but I'm a trumpet player. So I sang those. We get our little money at the end of the night, and it wasn't much, it was like 11 of us plus roadies. So I think we may have gotten like $40 a piece or something, we teenage, we were teenagers. Okay, okay. And um, we came to the rehearsal the next day, and my manager said to me, he said, you, 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 you're not playing trumpet anymore. And I was like, what are you talking about, man? We had a real hot brass section, and he said, the response to your vocal, you're gonna sing lead from now on. And that was, and I fought it. I fought it every way I could because I really enjoyed being a part of our brass section. But uh, that's how I, I got pulled up in that group. And that was really, like you could say, like the, the beginning, the beginning of your vocal journey, right? Um, for, for, for that part of it. In the that particular section of my, 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 my music career, yes, very mm. much so. Okay, well that was, that was great because he saw what we see and what we hear. Yes ma'am. You know, mm -hmm. and that was, that was really a great thing. Yeah, it worked out real well. So are you glad that you got a chance to uh, step up front? Hey? I mean, let I me uh -oh. hold hey. you <laughs> if I only for one oh night. Oh my God, that's one of my favorites, right? <laughs> Let me yes. keep you yes. <laughs> to ease away your fears. It would be, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 I love what I do. Um, 
There are no words for it. Uh, it's a release. When I'm worn out, tired at home, I have a studio at my house. Okay. And when I'm the most drained and tired and have the heaviest loads on me mentally, mm -hmm. um, music is my release. I go downstairs to my studio and I start writing songs. And some of the best songs I've ever written have been when I was tired and sore. So I, I love this thing called music. I've met some wonderful, wonderful people doing it. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I have a, a video out right now. It's called Rodney Mansfield, What Have We Done? Mm. And it afforded me to work with some of Philly's finest, uh, Johnny Coombs, Stacey McGee, Darren Daltrey. Um, when you look at what music does, it just opens a world for you. Yes. For people to get together and just have a good time. I love music. Mm -hmm. And you, you write about um, like how you feel, what you, what you've been through, experience, and what I see. And what you see. What I, what I see, always ties in extremely well to what I'm feeling. Because mm -hmm. how do you walk through this life and not see all the crazy things that are going on in the world right now? Mm -hmm. It would be impossible. Mm -hmm. And if you look at some of the greatest artists that have ever lived, like Marvin Gaye, he wrote about the things that he saw and felt, mm -hmm. and, and that's what this is about. And that's how um, What Have We Done came about? I was listening to uh, my wife and myself were watching television. And our president, our former president, came on television. And he said the virus was going to pass with, I think he said, five days or something. Oh, God. He, yeah. That it would be gone within five days. Mm -hmm. And it was nothing. And I looked at my wife because I didn't believe it. Mm -hmm. And I said, what have we done? And as soon as I said, what have we done? I ran downstairs to my keyboard and, and, and fired up all my gear. Mm -hmm. And I started landing and writing the song. And that's how that can you give us a little piece of that? Can you, can you give us a little piece of it? Just a can, I, can, can, can I do this? I'm, t I'm sort of giving up a whole lot, Doris. Yeah, and I'm scared if I give them too much. Y'all going to come to but, show? But, but tell them about, tell, tell, tell them first of all, tell them about is is what have we what have we done right? Mm -hmm. And it's going to be where it's going to be on the wake up rise up um, oh, yes. for peace. Yes, yes, you Concept, tell about that, right? Doris, you, yeah, you, and and you Doris know, Doris made and, this happen for and, me, y'all. So Doris needs to tell this. Yes, um, you know, I heard. I don't know if I heard him sing. Oh, let me let me tell you how how it happened. His manager mm -hmm. sent me a video. And the video was, uh, what have we done? I just couldn't believe it. Because it's a, such a smooth song. It's like one of those Marvin Gaye, just, just, some, just smooth songs. And then he comes in and he starts singing. And the lyrics are very meaningful. And they're fantastic, OK? And I was just, after that, I just said, I got to get him in the Wake Up, Rise Up for a Peace concert, OK? Didn't know if I could do it because I had sum submitted so many names. But fortunately, a couple of the ones I submitted couldn't be in the performance. So we got you in. Okay. Thank you. So you're going to hear him on a uh, concert with that particular song. And I mean, it's what's going on today. You know, the lyrics are meaningful. And the video is nice. The video is nice, smooth and nice. I, I, I have to say this, y'all, because mm. he's worked so hard to make this happen for us tonight. Mm -hmm. We've got the mighty Gil sitting over here operating everything for us. Let's put the hands together because this wouldn't be happening <laughs> if my brother wasn't sitting over here in the chair doing this for us. Thank you, man. I really Thank you, appreciate Gil. it. Thank you, Gilbert. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, then th th there's one other person I want to acknowledge while we're here. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a team, GJRK Productions. My manager, we call her the brain sitting over there. Hello. Joyce. And uh, Khalil, and uh, there you go, there you go. That is what we do, um, entertainment. But I'm, I'm gonna stop there, but thank everybody. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate mm -hmm. it, thank you. Mm -hmm. And my wife, hi baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and my daughter, hey Elise. I don't wanna sleep on the couch tonight, Joe. <laughs> so, so, as I said, we have to support the Wake Up, Rise Up for Peace uh, concert and um, Doug Payne and Carmen and Sonia we want to thank you for putting this whole thing together um, and it's stages that they have and we combine everything and now 
this concert will be shown um, on September 21st, I do believe, and it's going to be shown worldwide. A lot of artists has, have participated in sending their videos and performing on, this, uh, on, on the concert. So guys, you got something in store for you, so just keep your eyes and ears open for that concert. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Oh, I didn't get there, Gilbert. Give me a chance. No, no, I know. Okay, let me stop because you'll have, you know, you're going to a tantrum. So let me tell you about what we do on that. <laughs> he goes into a tantrum. Every week on Tuesday from 7 to 8, we have a show called on Philly Live Radio called um, Talents of Philadelphia. And we nickname it Top. And we play um, a, a lot of original tunes, a lot of Philadelphia and surrounding areas. We play their tunes, but basically we try to focus on original tunes. And yes, it's always played. Okay, what have we done? And nobody, you have a new single, nobody. That's played too. That's another fantastic song that's played. Okay. But but I, but I think we also need to mention. We'll let Gloria tell yes. you about September 18th. Yes. Well, on September 18th. Mark your calendars because this is going to be an awesome show. Rodney will be performing at the Sheridan, uh, Four Point Sheridan on Roosevelt Boulevard. And the um, show is from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. This is going to be his CD release party for the song Nobody. So. You definitely don't want to miss this show. Get your tickets. Tickets are available right now on Eventbrite. And uh, it's $45 in advance and 50 at the door. We will also have a CD signing so you can purchase the CD as well as we'll have a photo op with Rodney himself. So definitely mark your calendars for September 18th, 2021. Can I, can I add one more thing? We're going to have DJ Kevin. Oh, DJ Kevin. We're going to have the good food. Yes. We're, we're going to have um, DJ Kevin Jones. He will be on spinning music, keeping you on the dance floor all night long. Of course, when our feature performer isn't performing. We'll also have some great food prepared by none other than Chef Khalil. And while I'm on that, it's gonna be, this is gonna be a GJRK Entertainment in conjunction with Simply Music Inc. Those we those will be, be working baby. together to promote and bring this show live to you. And to tell you a little bit about GJRK, uh, Rodney and I, we started working together. We did some events together and um, we found out we work well together. And so what we did was we said, hey, let's um, take this a little further. And that's when the birth of GJRK Entertainment came about. And we did a couple of events where people enjoyed themselves. They even, they told us like, I had such a great time. When are you guys gonna do this again? And of course, COVID shut us down, shut it down, but we're back. And just to let you know, GJRK provides an exceptional entertainment experience for any event. We, we, um, we will get you a live band, DJs, sound and lighting. And also to tell you, GJRK at the birth, it started with, of course, the G is for Gloria. <laughs> And I am the um, booking and managing director. The J stands for Miss Joyce Patterson. <laughs> Joyce Patterson, right she is our financial director. And of course, 
Mr. Rodney Mansfield is that's what the R is for and uh, Rodney is our musical director should I even say why <laughs> as well as our sound and lighting because at all of our events he is definitely going to make sure that the sound and lighting is on point as well as the K the K is for Khalil Waichi. Khalil is our executive chef. Oh, so, okay. if you want to host, have an event, definitely give us a call because we aim to make your event a very memorable and exceptional entertainment event. GJRK, mark that down, okay? Excellent, excellent, okay. So now you have a lot of things to be looking forward to on September the 18th. Yes, you have your concert, okay? Mm -hmm. And then September the 21st, we have- Wake Up Rising. Wake Up, oh, it's something they, they forgot to say, so I'm gonna say it, okay? I am gonna be the MC. Oh, wake up rise? Oh. That, no, not Wake Up no, Rise, for your concert. Yeah, now yeah, let me yeah, tell yeah, you yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. I can't so let, sorry. I can't, I can't let it, I can't let it go, because this will be my first time. Right? I mean, my first time at, at this, this time. <laughs> but anyway, I want you to get your tickets, and I, I want you to participate. And um, we're, we're going to have a great time. I love to dance, so I'm going to be dancing yeah. most of the time while I'm trying to MC. Right. But I love that. And then, um, you'll be eating. <laughs> oh, okay. So another thing that I want to bring your attention to, um, I want to say something to the people that have joined us tonight because we are giving away 20 uh, singles, okay, uh, to the first 20 people. And I think, we, I think we have them. Oh, God, yes, we do have them. Okay, we have Roz Wilson. Hello, Roz, how are you? We have Nick Mark. Mart. Hi, Nick. How you doing? You said you have a wonderful voice. Thanks, Nick. Okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Roz Wilson said Lorley, Lor Lorley. I guess she was saying that to her because of your voice. Thank Terrific. You, Jessica, my cousin is here. She said, hi guys, so good to be here. Thanks, cuz. Rosa, hi Rosa, you got my email. Hi, good Rosa. evening, Doris, Rodney, Gil, and Gloria. Hi okay. Rosa. Hi everybody. And then we have Carlos, Carlos Devon, or Rayleigh he has here. And Carlos is a DJ on Philly Live Radio. And he comes on at uh, 9, 8 o'clock on Tuesdays, 9 to uh, 11, 8 to 11, 8 to 11. And he plays some dynamite music. You got to tune in to Philly Live Radio one time and listen to Carl Carlos' show. And Carlos says, wow, where have you been? <laughs> where, 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 ha wow, where have you been? Leave a CD, <laughs> no, no, at Philly Live Radio Station. If you have some, I'm sure your ballots are really good. What a voice. Okay, Carlos, we heard you. Okay. And then Kimmy Mus Mus Musingen. Well, she's at the... Um, the Kimmy. The, Kimmy. 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 Yeah, oh, she's hey, at Kimmy. the... Um, hi, Kimmy. The, the Wyndham, right? Yes. Yeah, hi, Kimmy. Kimmy. She was there, okay. Yeah. And, and her Kimmy, wonderful husband. And Kimmy says, congratulations. Winnington still, love you. Good evening, all. Hey, Winnington. Okay. Sandra Coleman, hi Sandra, thank you. How CC? Okay, and then we have Winnington still again. Rosa Richardson is saying very gifted. We have um, Sandra Coleman again. Hi Sandra. <laughs> hey then, Sandra, how you doing? And then we have Roz Wilson, and Roz is saying, sing it. Thank you. Okay, I appreciate Carlos. It. Now I remember him and the Sapphires back in the day. Mm -hmm. Their horn section was killing it. Okay. Jessica says, hello, Gil. Winston Gay, hi, Winston. Winston said, hey, young people, best of everything, keep up the good work. Sandra Sykes, my sister, said hello, everyone. Hi. Okay, Nick Mark says, Mart says, hi, gang. And Sandra Coleman says, hi. And I just want to thank you all for joining in. And I know I got my 20, my, my 20 people to send a CD to. 
Um, so all I need for you to do is send me your email. Now, I'm going to give you my new email address, so I don't want to get it confused with the other emails. You're going to send it to simplymusic452 at gmail.com. Simplymusic452 at gmail.com. Send me your email address so I can send you uh, a, a his Rodney single, single and a copy of the flyer. Okay? Don't be, don't do it because I'll forget. So do it. I want to get that out this weekend. Okay, so we want to go back to Rodney, and we want to talk about your musical family. You okay. said your mom sang. I, my, my mom uh, had six sisters and six brothers. Wow, okay. And they had the Jones boys and the Jones girls. Get out. Yeah, no, my daddy couldn't sing at all. Okay. <laughs> my dad couldn't sing at all. But uh, it was a standing joke in the house. My mom used to say daddy couldn't pop his fingers. <laughs> he had no rhythm. So we knew automatically when I was younger, when I started singing, mm -hmm. that it came from my mom's side of the family. Okay, okay. And you said, you, did you ever sing in church? Yes. You oh, sang yeah. in church? The Dandridge Ensemble. Mm -hmm. um, they were signed to Philly International. Okay. So we used to travel all over the place. Miss, Miss Ann Swain Clark, who also happened to be our choir conductor at Baird Junior High School. I went to Baird Junior High School. Mm -hmm. And it was Miss Clark that really planted the seed for me as a, mm -hmm. as a soloist. Mm -hmm. Because I was a soloist in the glee club. And when people were late or they weren't singing their parts right, Miss Clark would say, <laughs> you know I'll do this whole show with Rodney. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I used to stand there thinking to myself, I don't do no show by myself. But that's what she mm -hmm. would do every time I turned around. But then as I grew older, mm -hmm. I started thinking about what she was saying. And I was like, well, maybe I can do a show as a solo artist. And mm -hmm. that's, she planted the seed mm -hmm. for me. Anne Swain Clark out of mm -hmm. Chester. Well, Rodney, <laughs> has, it been, has it been hard for you, um, you know, getting to where you want to be, where you need to be? I mean, you know, music is up and down all the time. Um, live shows, recording. Now you have your own studio, mm -hmm. so you record in your own studio, mm -hmm. okay? Um, has the road been hard? Has it been easy? Tell me about the road that you, you're traveling on. The, the road for music, and I would say this to anybody watching, mm -hmm. if you do music, it's the same as life. Okay. You, you have ups and downs, and it's when you, when you go down into that valley, it's how you deal with the downs that help you to get back up. Mm -hmm. Music, for me, is consistency, doing it to the best of your ability, and most importantly, never giving up. You got, just like life, you're gonna have obstacles in life, but you can't lay down. So music, I won't say it has been difficult, I'm not where I would like to be, but I've done some things that I'm very happy about doing, and I'm sure there are some wonderful things that lie ahead. Me and Gloria, we were working together doing shows, and I was really doing all I could for sound and lighting for other bands. Okay, because you- Now, the you, people you, I was doing sound and lighting for at these shows, they don't even know I sing. Oh, Most of them okay. didn't even know I sang. So I was doing sound and lighting for these bands, mm -hmm. and I'm watching what Gloria does, mm -hmm. and I'm like, wow, she's super organized, everybody loves her, and we, the more we work together, and then there was Joyce, uh, who I, I, I lovingly call the brain. <laughs> 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 then there was Joyce, and the three of us, we just started, as we started, you know, doing things and meshing together as a team, I'm cutting my, my, my songs in my studio, and you have to have somebody listen. So I would, she's right, I would send them to Glow, I'd say, Glow, listen to this. That's a nickname, Glow. Glow, <laughs> listen to this. So I'd send it to her, and she'd get back to me, and she'd say, well, I like that one, I like that one. I said, well, hold on, let me, let me, let me do this. Wait a minute, I got another one. And I, I found that I just started sending her music and sending her music, and then we'd do shows and I'd see how organized she was and what she brought to the table. And I said, you know what? We started the GJRK. It was time 
excuse me, COVID was, 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 was yeah. calming down and I wanted to come out of the studio and release my first single. And I was talking, I said, you know what? I want you to think about managing what I'm doing. And I know, and uh, I'm blessed because when you do this thing, you, it's, it's not about your talent. Mm -hmm. It's not about your talent. It's not about how you sing. It's not about any of those things because she's working for me when I'm asleep. That's right, that's right. There, there, there are times when I'm asleep. I just got back from North Carolina. She's up here working. Now I did listen to the radio station all the way back in. I'm coming back in. I, I had y'all on. <laughs> Philly listening. Live Radio, I had right? Philly Live Radio on, <laughs> okay. coming back up the highway. So that was good. Mm -hmm. But my, but my point is, you know, music wherever this takes us, we're having a good time. Yes, we are. And that's the, that is the, the, the focal point and the most important thing for me. The three of us, when we get on the phone together and we plan and we organize, we have a great time. Mm -hmm. We had something last happen last night. <laughs> well, what, tell that us I'm not gonna lady. tell what happened. Well, can I tell it, Joyce? <laughs> can tell, I tell us it? a little bit of it, okay? <laughs> tell a little bit. We're, we're on the, we're, we're, the three of us are on a conference call mm -hmm. and we're talking about the show coming up in September, our concerns okay. that COVID yeah. may cause us some issues. So I'm talking about the fact that it's starting to affect young people. And she hadn't said anything in a while. So I said to Joyce, I said, hey, Joyce, what do you think about that? She said, oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> she said, that's wonderful. I, I, what she said, I think that's wonderful. That's how that should be or something like that. And I said, yeah, that's a good promotion. That's what she said. That's a good advertisement. Yeah. And I said, wait a minute, she couldn't have heard what I just said about yeah, COVID. She, she talked about that's a good promotion. So then Gloria chimed in, and we just started dying laughing because we were like, Joyce, would you sleep? And she said, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> so that tells, you, that, tells you how ex that tells you how exciting our conference calls are. <laughs> Joyce would sleep. <laughs> but we have fun, you know, and that's, we have a lot of fun. And that, that for me is the greatest payment. You asked me a question once before about uh, influences for me musically, but I, I'll tell you the greatest compliment I've ever gotten musically had nothing to do with my singing. Okay. I had opened for Phyllis Hyman and a lady came up to me after the show and she said, this is the first concert that I've ever been to where I felt totally safe. Hmm. And I had never thought about that. But as I was out there doing what I do and talking and, you know, working the audience, I made her feel safe. And, and that is the greatest compliment I've ever had musically. The fact that this lady told me, I've never forgotten. I've never forgotten that I made her feel safe. Um, there, there are small things that you do. I was at a conference in LA and I'm trying to break into the music industry and I had on this Versace shirt and I'm hoping that I look okay, right? Mm -hmm. And LL Cool J walked over to me and he said, hey man, nice shirt. That's all he said. Hey man, nice shirt. And I said, thank you, and he walked off. I felt like I was ready for the, <laughs> I was ready for the world after LL Cool J yes, told yes. me, nice shirt. Mm -hmm. So it's just little things like that uh, across you know, the spectrum of music that I hold on to, that I savor. I'll never forget, uh, you know, some of the people and the places that I've been. And this thing is it's just wonderful. You just don't give up, y'all. If you're out here doing music, find the people that believe in you, the naysayers, get them out your life. If they don't believe, just thank you. You don't have to be upset with anybody. You don't have to be mad. But the people that bring a negative to what you're doing, step around them and just keep going because there are definitely different levels of success in this music game. When the pandemic came upon us, and it's still kind of upon us now, did you do a lot of writing do that, during that time? Yeah, I was, still, um, I was still writing. I didn't rehearse my band anymore. Um, yeah. You know, we had great concerns, so I didn't rehearse the band anymore. But I was still bringing in my bass player, uh, Charles. Charles Brookins would come in and still lay tracks. Mm -hmm. 
I had Johnny Coon come over with the uh, video that y'all would be playing. Johnny came over and we still did things one on one. Mm -hmm. uh, Stacy came in, Darren, uh, you know, the, the, the people, Barry Cabrera came over and did guitar. We still, we still did what we needed to do during COVID and we stayed safe. Okay. You know, we, 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 we took all the precautions we could, but COVID did not shut us down. That's why we're here today. COVID didn't shut us down. Okay. Now, most of your songs, you, you produce them yourself? Write and produce. Mm -hmm. I write, I write at, at this stage of the game, um, I'm blessed in that I have a lot of musical ideas mm -hmm. and I get a chance to sit down, write and produce what I do and, I, and I'm very happy. Um, I'm not, I'm not, it's like, it's like, you know Johnny Coombs, right? Yes. Johnny Coombs is like a, uh, <laughs> Johnny's like a, Johnny's like a, uh, a prince. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny Coombs is like a prince. Mm -hmm. But what I do is I learned many, many years ago to do my song and people that I can hear and, 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 and envision doing, you know, this, that, and the other, coming over to bring it together, I bring them in and, and, and they help you. Like I said, it's not about you. Yeah. This music thing is not about you because you, I can't do this by myself. Yeah. I can't do it. So you okay. have to have mm -hmm. good, positive people around you. So, you know. Okay. It's like seasoning. And, and yeah. then. Yeah, it's, and like, a, it's like a big piece of chicken. It, it needs some seasoning. Also on the um, video, what have we done? We definitely have to give credit to our videographer, yes, Wendell James. Yes, ma'am. Wendell James job, Wendell. was our videographer for what have we done, mm -hmm. and he did an awesome job. Okay, and so I definitely want to uh, give him credit for a great job on producing that video. Just, just, just one last thing, if you don't mind, Doris. Uh, Windows production was fantastic. Johnny Coombs keyboards, uh, keyboards, acoustical guitar, horns. Stacy McGee on bass. Darren Daltrey is playing a guitar solo. Darren rocks the world with his guitar solo. Darren is the uh, guitar player for the OJs now. And so, you know, it, it, again, it's not about me. It's everybody comes together and has their little part to play. Everybody gets a chance to dance. You know. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's about a group effort. Oh, and his, his uh, uh, videography is called GMV. Uh, yeah, GMV um, photography, well, that's what he does. at the end of the video. Yeah, at the end of the video, you will definitely see. Uh, so if you're looking for a great videographer, Wendell James. And you can, if I could say one more thing, you can go to RodneyMansfield.com. Rodney Mansfield with two N's, M-A-N-N-S-F-I-E-L-D. And click on, go into video, and you'll be able to see the video, uh, you know, Wendell's work. And it's a, it's a very powerful video. We, we've got nothing but great response to it, very positive mm -hmm. response. And when you, look, when you look at that video, I want you to look at that jacket Rodney had on. <laughs> <laughs> That was a bad jacket. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> no, we, we know the message. Y'all understand the message. But Rodney had on a real nice jacket. That jacket was bad. That was a bad jacket, right? Okay. All right. So now, now you have nobody. You have your, your new single out, okay? And shortly that will be on social med media. It's already out. It's already on social media. RodneyMansfield.com. Okay, you can pull it up. It's right there. Okay. The video is on YouTube. It's on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, you can you can definitely access at least three or four of my albums on RodneyMansfield.com. Mm -hmm. So you can pull everything up there and the video. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So now you have in the show in September. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything planned for October? Yes. Let's hear it. Uh, that's already in the working. Mm -hmm. What we're doing is, as a group, GJRK Productions, mm -hmm. is we're looking for another, we will be able to announce on September the 18th, mm -hmm. Gloria will be able to announce mm -hmm. the next venue where we're going to do it at and the group that she's going to bring in. For okay. us to do. Then, once again, you will see me behind the camera doing lighting and sound. Okay. And you do, you, you do G DJs, mm -hmm. right, so, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, we, we, we like they say, uh, in this business, you better you do, do everything. everything. You do everything you can in this business. You do everything so, you can. Yes. So, so are you planning to have something like every month or? Yes. What, is that what you plan to do? Mm -hmm. Yes, our plans are really, at, since we're GJRK Entertainment, um, we're planning on doing an event every month. So at Rodney's show in September, hopefully with COVID, we're not shut down or anything oh, wow. like that. Um, we will be having a show in October, November, and December. Those, those shows will be announced to the public, most likely at each one of the other shows. And also, if you're having a wedding, if you're having a family reunion, if you're having, if you just want to do a private party and you need a live band, you need a DJ, or you just may want sound and lighting, give us a call because we have it all. And we can definitely, like I said, make your event one that will be talked about and it will be an evening and an event to be remembered. So um, definitely GJRK is going to be doing events once a month. That'll be our event, but we'll also be doing events for other people who you know, may want us to do events for them. We are available, so give us a call if you need any help with uh, an event or any type of entertainment that you want to do, we're your we're your entertainment group. Okay, and then they, you whatever if they want a, uh, a vocal group, you will provide a vocal group. Whatever yes, so yes, provide. yes. Okay. If you want a live band, we do have live bands. If you want a DJ, if you want jazz, R and B, um, if you want reggae, uh, if you want Latin. Um, we do have bands that can perform that type of music for you. So that will be our live bands, as well as if you just want to DJ. We have a list of DJs that we use, and um, they'll be able to come. And, of course, keep your people and keep your party pumping. Okay? okay? <laughs> and, uh, and also, if you want um, to have... Our chef, our executive chef, Mr. Khalil, you know, prepare your meal. We do have Khalil. We have a chef. So we're full service. So definitely give us a call. And at this time, I also want to give a shout out, if I may, to my number one supporter, encourager, my husband, Derek. He has been very helpful um, to me on this journey of uh, event planning as well as um, this music ride that I'm doing right now. And um, without his love and support, it would be hard. I understand that. Cause you it would be hard. Yes. And like Rodney says, I'm, I get up and I'm working and sometimes I forget to eat I, he will send me a cup of coffee uh, he brings a cup of coffee and something for me to eat he says you've been up here and you haven't come down to get anything to eat I said oh I don't know where the time went time just went by so fast but babe I just want to let you know that I appreciate you for that I love you and thank you for your Love, support, encouragement, and don't stop. <laughs> While you have the mic, can you, can you give us your email? Yes. Um, if you are interested in um, a GJRK event or if you're interested in um, booking Mr. Rodney Mansfield to perform at your event, your wedding, um, or any type of event that you're having, you can contact me. My name is Gloria Butler. My phone number is 609. Email. Email G Gloria R Butler at gmail.com. Okay. All right. Now you can, I can type it in. And it's 
That's good. That's good. He just put it up. Okay, he put it up. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Ms. Gloria Butler, thank for you. all that good information. <laughs> and I hope that our fans, our friends out there, um, you know, took that information down. And we, we're do, doing some things with, with Rodney, helping him to get where he should be. And we're all working towards getting him to reach that goal. And I think after the show, after they hear that voice, hey, I think you're going to be OK. <laughs> and, and another thing is that all of you guys out there, your songwriters, your singers, you do so many things. And we want you to know that we're proud of your musical journey and all the things that you have done, all the creation you have done to make good music for our listening pleasure. We thank you for that because because of your music, sometimes I can dance, I can go around that house and sing, I can do all kinds of, I can cry, I can laugh. Your music does it for me and I know that it does, it, 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 it does the same thing for others. So I want to thank you, and I want you to continue your musical journey. Now, Rodney gave you a lot of um, uh, incentives. Uh, he said a lot of good things about never giving up and all that. And if somebody doesn't support you, in other words, you know, push them aside and you keep on going. And that's the way you, it should be, so that you can move on and don't have haters, you know, stopping you from doing the thing that you love most and that's your music so keep that in mind now um, another thing I want to say is because of who you are and what you do that's why I am here where I am and that's why Gilbert is there where he is because we believe you yeah but we believe in you and so we want you to send your original tunes to us yep. lots of times we are actually playing your original tunes on Philly Live Radio, and you don't even know it. And we're giving you such a, um, a platform. We're talking about you and the good things you do, but you don't even know we do it. And that's why we're here. You need to listen, because that's what we do, OK? And the indie show opens up a platform where you can kind of you know, tell us what you do, and people can watch you know, and listen to what you do. So we're here for you. Just remember that. OK? All right. Yeah, he's getting ready to play whether he said or not. <laughs> ah, he's singing to me. <laughs> Say I thank you for all the things you do. Come on, everybody out there, let me hear you say it. I wanna thank you for all the things you do. Yes, I'm enjoying that. Wrote a song. Yes, yes. yes. You wanna hear it? Yes. <laughs> oh, and you will hear more at the concert. At the concert, September 18th. Please come out, September 18th, hosted by no other than Mrs. Dars yeah. Hall James. Yeah. Yeah. Ms. Dars Hall will be there. She will be the MC yeah. for the evening. So you definitely want to come out. We have also, like I said, we have Mr. Um, Kevin Jones as the DJ as well. So come on out come on out enjoy some good food some great music and of course none other than coming and enjoying the cd release from mr rodney mansfield's new track and it's called nobody okay okay we're gonna give the stage back to you one second whittington i want to see you there i know you're on here you whittington yeah, I want to see you. Yeah, uh, no, Whittington is here. I want to see Whittington, Whittington, Sandra, Sandra. All these these girls can sing. I mean, they can sing. I want to see you all there. We need your support. Okay. Yes. Now we're gonna turn center stage back. 
to no other. <laughs> Mansfield, okay? Let him go, let him go. If I sing anymore, they don't no, even come no, to the no. show. I want, I want you to sing, I want you to want, sing the one by Karen Carton. Give me that one, okay? Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is an oldie. And I really like the words. I think it's something that you can take with you. Especially if you're having a hard day. Day after day, I must face a world of strangers where I don't belong. No, I'm not that strong. Inspirational words, inspirational words. Do you want to give any shout outs at this time? Say some inspirational words to those that's trying to get into the music field? Which one do you want? Go ahead, Ronnie. If you do this, you have to determine how you want to be paid, what you're willing to do to get paid, and be true to yourself. The best thing that I think I've ever done is um, when I hit walls, I, I, I push back negatives and I keep going. And, and like I said, you don't have to push people hard that are negative. Just gently move them out the way because what you will find, or at least what I've experienced, is you can change the mindset of negative people. You can do it. So the people that for a moment, it's kind of like, you remember, remember when you were in a, um, elementary school and, and the bad kids got a timeout? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes people need a timeout. And you don't have to beat them up. You don't have to kick them. You don't have to dog them. You don't have to talk about them. You don't. Sometimes people need a timeout. And you do your thing while they're in timeout. And what you find is those people come back out. And if you are perfecting your craft, some of those same negative people will listen to you and they will be like, oh, that's, that's what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. That's where they were going. That's what they're, they're trying to do. So for me, stay positive, stay true to your craft, and there's something that I grew up with. Um, whatever city you are in, be one of the top three performers. Yes, 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 yes. Be one of the top three performers. When people come out and they talk about people that performed in the, the city of Philadelphia, they should think of you somewhere in that top three. You may not be number one, and y'all have to remember, uh, Kenny Gamble turned Prince down. Okay. Y'all remember that, right? Kenny Gamble turned Prince down. And Prince didn't go home and cry. He just went on and became one of the greatest artists that the world has ever known. <laughs> so, so it's about do what you do, to the very best of your ability. And if you surround yourself with wonderful people, if you stay positive, the greatest thing you may have is just traveling, meeting wonderful people. That may be as far as it goes.
but you're rich in what you do. And I'm very rich in what I do. I love what I do. So thank you. I really appreciate you having us here, Doris. Appreciate you. Gil, appreciate uh, you. like I said, y'all, Gil, Gil's back here behind the scene. Mm -hmm. And so he's sitting back here. He's not taking any credit for what's happening, but this wouldn't be happening tonight if he and Doris hadn't gotten together and done this. So thank you, man. I really appreciate it. And then, of course, the brain. Thank you, Joyce. <laughs> Joyce sitting over there cooling out. <laughs> Uh, good night, everybody. I, I'm, I'm, I'm honored to have been here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Doris. Okay, thank you, too. And remember, uh, Simply Music is the umbrella, and the, we are a 501c3, and we would love to get some of your donations <laughs> donated to us. And you can go to our website at simplymusicinc.com, and you can make a donation because this show here, we have plenty more shows to, to bring to you and your donation will make it possible for us to do this. Okay, so thank you at simplymusicinc.com and, and on the 29th, okay, that's July 29th, we have TNT, Tony TNT Jones, okay? So we want you to join us all of you out there, you know Tony, and you know what he brings. So we want you to join us on the 29th for Tony TNT. Tony's bad. Tony's bad. Tony's bad. Boy. Yeah. Yes, he is. Tony's a bad boy. We are done at this point. Give, give me a moment. I, I'll take a look. Listen to the artists of today. Travel with them along.